We've been asking the Public Health Agency of Canada for months what it got from the two companies that it sold the commercial licensing rights to for the experimental vaccine and the experimental drug, ZMAP. We wanted to know if Canada still has any voice in the development and dissemination of the treatments. We got back emails saying the contract is confidential, that Canada still owns the patent and the intellectual property. But that's now being questioned by scientists around the world who are waiting to do clinical trials on the vaccine. This Berlin-based journalist wrote the article. The scientists I talked to are unhappy. They feel it could have gone faster. Who, who is in control of this process? Everyone figured this outbreak would be long over before a vaccine could be developed. But with the number of Ebola cases doubling every three weeks and scientists around the world saying it's out of control, the need for a vaccine is growing. Meanwhile, up to a thousand doses are in cold storage here at the National Microbiology Lab in Winnipeg. I do wonder whether it isn't possible to somehow cut through all that red tape and try to help get this vaccine on the road really as fast as possible. They report that African trials of this Canadian vaccine have in fact been delayed, not because of logistical problems, but over an intellectual property dispute. The company that owns the commercial license for the drug is said to be dragging its feet. With thousands of lives at risk, can the Minister of Health explain what Canada is doing? The only answer Ottawa's given so far is that all of this is in the hands of the World Health Organization. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.